Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to talk about the calendar module which is a built-in Python module to work with calendar related activities. Now you can see in my Replit account I have printed out this calendar so the year here and the name of the month, days of the week and the dates here. This is so simple to do using calendar module. Let's see how we can do this. So first of all we need to import calendar and then to print out a yearly calendar like that we need to print the calendar from calendar class calendar and it takes at least one argument which is the year 2021 and if I let me uh, clear this one so if I run it I get the same that you just saw so the year month and the rest I can also style it a bit differently so I can I can increase the width of every month I can also increase the line heights so for that we need to have two more um, arguments here one is the width which can I take put two I can also specify W equals two and L, which is line height equals, let's say, uh, now th four, for example. It is one now, so let's put it to two. And if I run and clear this and run it again, you see now there is the height line, the line height has increased now. And if I change the width from two to four, oops, uh, from two to four. Let me run this. You can see this has become wider now. So this is the first thing that we can do. Um, let me copy this so that I use this later and I comment this out. And now is it a leap year? So previously in a previous video I also talked about a function that you could write for checking if a, if a year is a leap year or not. With the calendar module is so easy, you can simply write is leap, that's it. So it returns a boolean, true or false. So, and you need to give it a number. So 2020 was a leap year. So if I print this out, I should get true, and I do. And what about 2021, which is of course not a leap year. So I should get false, and here it is. Very simple. And now let's get to how many leap days. So imagine you want to know how many leap days uh, has there been since, I don't know, a specific year. So for that, we need to write leap days and give it two arguments from 1984, for example, up to 2021. And it gives me 10. That is, means that there has been like 10 leap days since then. <clears throat> All right, now days of the month. So if you want to print out the days of the month with their dates, it's also simple. You just need to mention month here and give it a specific month. So uh, 2021, let's say 10th. And then I should get this one here, easy, October. 2021 the days here and the dates are here now list of the days and the weeks so remember the days of the, the month for example for October 2021 they start from Friday right and this is going to be one week this is going to be another week another week and so on and so forth so if I want to put them in a list I can use this here but I need to mention month calendar and if I print this out here uh, let me comment this one out so that I don't see it yeah and now I have this list lists within lists so the f you know each list indicates or shows one week so that is the the first day of the 10th month of uh, the year, that's October, started 
on a Friday because this is Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday was the first day of the week and then it was here so they all start from Monday up to Sunday Monday up to Sunday so this is what you get when you <coughs> um, use month calendar now let's comment this out and the first weekday yeah this is also something that you might want to use somewhere um, yeah the weekday the first weekday of the month uh, of the week is Monday and starts from zero so I can simply say first a weekday and I don't even need to pass anything here so first weekday I should get a zero here which means Monday is the first weekday and zero means Monday now if I you want to know um, on which day the, the month a specific month started and how many days are there in that month you can use a month range so let me comment this out and paste it here uh, month range and we should uh, yeah so for October let's keep it for October now and it should give us a tuple with two values the first one is the number of the day so remember days of the week here start from Monday that is zero so zero is Monday one is Tuesday two is Wednesday three is Thursday and four is Friday so it means October started on a Friday and it has 31 days and how about um, August oops um, it started on a Saturday and actually yesterday it was the first of August so it started on a Saturday and it also has 31 days and the last one which day of the week was it you want to know for example which day were you born on and uh, for that we need to mention the day as a weekday week day and then give it a specific date for example 1988 um, October um, and 9th of October 1988 for example which day of the week was it it gives me six and remember six means Saturday because zero is Monday and if you count it up you will get to Saturday as a sixth day of the week so you can you can tell when your birthday uh, was actually which day of the week was it <clears throat> and yeah that is a uh, quick introduction to calendar module it makes uh, things really easy when they're concerned when you're um, you want to do something about dates or calendar related activities and that was it I hope you enjoyed and you learned something from it thank you so much for watching and listening